Hi. Now in this question, we're told that we've got particles P and Q of masses 0.4 kilograms and m kilograms respectively. And they're joined by a light, inextensible string which passes over a smooth pulley. And the particles are released from rest the same height above a horizontal surface. The string is taut and the portions of the string not in contact with the pulley are vertical. And Q begins to descend with an acceleration of 2.45 meters per second per second and reaches the surface 0.3 seconds after being released. Subsequently, Q remains at rest and P never reaches the pulley. Now we've got three parts to this question. And in the first part, we've got to calculate the tension in the string while Q is in motion. And then go on to calculate the momentum lost by Q when it reaches the surface. And then in part three, calculate the greatest height of P above the surface. Now in this video, I'm only going to tackle the first part of this question. And there'll be separate videos for each of the other two parts. So if you'd like to uh, give this a go, if you haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video, do come back when ready and you can check your work solution against mine. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. Well, the first thing I want to do is mark on the forces acting on each of the particles P and Q. Now we know that P, we're told, has a mass of 0.4 kilograms, so its weight is going to be 0.4 g, okay, newtons. So we'll just put that as 0.4 g newtons. And the weight of Q is m kilograms, so that's going to be mg newtons for its weight, okay, mg newtons. Now, there's going to also be a tension acting upwards on each of the particles P and Q. So we'll mark that in as T newtons for this one, and it'll be T newtons for the other one. And the reason for that is because the pulley here is smooth. We're also told that the particles accelerate with an acceleration of 2.45 meters per second per second. So Q just begins to descend, so it's going to go downwards, okay, so I just mark that in there, with an acceleration, which I call A, and A is equal to 2.45 meters per second per second. Now because the string is inextensible, what we've got here is that as soon as Q starts to move, P will start to move. And so it'll have exactly the same acceleration, only in the upward sense. I'll just call it A, A being exactly the same as what we've got here, 2.45 meters per second per second. Okay, so we should be in a position to do the first part now, calculate the tension in the string while Q is in motion. Because all we've got to do is consider particle P. If we were to consider particle Q, we'd have two unknowns, T and Mg. But if I just consider particle P, I've just got the tension T as the one unknown. And so what I'm going to do is resolve in the direction of motion, and that will be upwards, okay, taking upwards as positive. And I'm also just going to say that I'm going to consider particle P. So resolving upwards using essentially Newton's second law, force equals mass times acceleration. What we've got is all of the tension, T, minus the weight of P, that's minus 0.4 G, is equal to the mass of P, which is 0.4 kilograms, times the acceleration, which we're given is 2.4. Four, five. So we just need to rearrange this for T by adding 0.4G to both sides. So T is going to equal 0.4 then 
multiply by 2.45 and then plus 0.4 multiplied by g. And I'm going to take g as being 9.8. And if you work this out, what you get then for that tension is 4.9. 4.9 newtons. So I hope you were able to uh, get that answer. It's a fairly standard type of question, so it should be fairly much routine to do a problem like that. Now, as I say, in the next part, okay, part two, I'll do that in a separate video. If you're looking at this on my website, you'll see a link to that next to this question.